Flags in Monterey Park are at half staff after the shooting that left 10 dead. Good afternoon, I'm Elizabeth Cook. A memorial is also growing now at the dance hall where those shots rang out. A group of mostly Asian Americans were celebrating the Lunar New Year when police say the suspect opened fire, killing 10 and hurting 10 more. Nichelle Medina joins us live from Monterey Park with the very latest. Nichelle. Elizabeth, the pain of that shooting is really impacting this tight knit community here of Monterey Park. Many people had gathered here over the weekend to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Now they're struggling to understand why and how this happened. As investigators work to determine what motivated a gunman to open fire in a dance hall, residents in Monterey Park, California struggle to cope with a mass shooting that left 10 people dead. I feel this sense of great loss about the home that I always had. It's just it's just gone. I'll never be able to feel safe here again. Suddenly heard the boom, 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 boom. Hattie Pong was at the Star Ballroom Dance Studio Saturday night as shots rang out. You will see the body already several lying there. The LA County Sheriff said 20 to 30 minutes later, the same gunman entered another ballroom about three miles away. A man working there says he wrestled the gun away from the suspect who fled in a white van. 72 year old Hu Can Tran was eventually tracked down in Torrance, where police say he took his own life as a SWAT team moved in. About 60% of the residents here in Monterey Park are Asian Americans. Many have begun leaving candles and flowers at the dance hall. I know people need to talk about it. I think mental health stuff is so real and so difficult in the Asian American community, Chinese community in particular, to get there. Police say the suspect used a semi automatic handgun that is illegal to own in California. The shooting spree has renewed calls to reduce gun violence in America. Why do we have so many guns in this country and even more on the horizon? It's not right. Other countries don't operate this way and we should not either. Authorities said most of the victims were middle aged or older members of the Asian American community. And the governor is in the area at this hour holding a news conference alongside the mayor of Monterey Park updating the public about Saturday's tragedy. In the meantime, we can tell you the community will come together tonight for a candlelight vigil to remember the victims. Elizabeth. And it is such a tight knit community, Nichelle. I grew up near there and this type of thing just does not happen in Monterey Park. And I know that they are reeling from all of this. Nichelle Medina, thank you so much. Well, people marking the Lunar New Year in San Francisco said they are troubled by the deadly violence in Southern California. From Mission Bay to Chinatown, crowds took part in traditions to celebrate the Year of the Rabbit. The festivities include a halftime performance at a Warriors game featuring traditional dancers. Fans enter Chase Center recently receiving red envelopes at the door, but many also had heavy hearts. My mom's from Vietnam, so, you know, our family, we celebrate it. We celebrate Tet, and um, it's just really unfortunate to hear what happened um, in Monterey, um, especially in today where, you know, you want to get together. You want to celebrate as community. Other fans at the arena said while they had a slight sense of fear after the weekend's tragedy, they also felt reassured by tight security measures. And we will continue to bring you updates of this shooting right here on CBS News Bay Area on air as well as on the CBS News app and our website, KPIX.com.